On this example, um, let's look at the radical expression. It's right here. It's 2 square root of 3 minus w, and then the minus w that you see after that is outside of it. So we need to try to isolate this. So let's add w. So sometimes you have variables that you need to move to the other side. 2 square root of 3 minus w equals w. The next step is we could divide by 2 because that's 2 times the radical, but that creates a fraction over here. So you can, you can make the decision to not divide the 2 and go ahead and square both sides to get rid of the radical. If we're leaving that coefficient there though, we have to square it and also square the radical. So 2 squared is 4. When we square the radical, it brings out the expression. And then we have to remember we're still multiplying it by the coefficient. So we have to include that in parentheses. On the other side, we get w squared. Now let's clear the parentheses and distribute the 4 into that group. So 4 times 3 is 12 minus 4 times w is 4w equals w squared. Now I can see here that I've got a w squared, so I need to get it set up for factoring ax squared plus bx plus c is 0. So we've got to set this equal to 0. So we need to add the 4w, and we put it after the w squared. And we need to subtract 12, we put it at the end. So I get 0 equals w squared plus 4w minus 12. Now we factor this into two groups. We're going to use the AC method. So the AC method, we have 1 times negative 12 is negative 12, and we want our sum to be the middle B number 4. So let's list the combinations that multiplies to make negative 12. We have negative 1 times 12, negative 2 times 6, negative 3 times 4. Do any of these give us a sum of 4? And yes, we have this one here. And since our coefficient is a 1 for the w squared, then we know that our two groups are w minus 2, w plus 6. If we set the groups equal to 0, we get two solutions. We get w is 2, because we add 2, and w is negative 6. Now it's important to check all of our results. So let's go ahead and check the first answer that I got, which was 2, in that original problem. So we have 2 square root of 3 minus 2 minus 2 again equals 0. So all the w's become 2's. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 times the square root of 1, that's like 2 times 1 is 2. And when I subtract, I do get 0. So this is a true answer. Now let's check negative 6. So when I go to the original radical, I get 2 square root of 3 minus w, so 3 minus negative 6, minus negative 6 again equals 0. So that's 2 square root of 9 plus 6. So those minus negatives are pluses. The square root of 9 is the value 3. 2 times 3 is 6, but when I do 6 plus 6, I get 12, not 0. So this is an extraneous solution. So the only true value for W would be 2.